Hello, hello, and welcome. It is time for our weekly What Sold. And today there is a lot of thrifted stuff that I pick up a lot for cheap. What do I mean? I mean like the pillows, the placemats, the robes. You might think I'm crazy when I'm picking them up over on my cat's treasure hunting channel. If you don't know about that, I do have a second channel where I show my thrifting adventures. So go over there and subscribe. A lot of these items were picked up here very, very recently. They sold fast. I think it's a good profit for small, easy to ship and photograph items. So these are ones that are out there. They are out there a lot. I live in a small rural area and I find them all the time. So we're going to take a look at 20 from eBay, a few from Poshmark, a few from Mercari, and I'm going to show you what's selling right now. All right, today we're going to take a look at Poshmark and Mercari first. I'm going to flip it, do it a little bit backwards. If you don't know, I do use List Perfectly to cross post. It is a web based cross posting service and it makes it really easy to take your listings from eBay to Poshmark, Mercari. They do Kitizen, they do Etsy, they do like 10 or 15 different platforms. If you've been thinking about cross posting, definitely give List Perfectly a try. They do have an auto delister that will take them down off the other platforms if they sell on one. So that is an exciting new feature. You can use my code, the nurse flipper to get 30% off of your first month. Give it a try, see if it helps. And I think it will. Uh, you do have to utilize it. You do have to actually cross post the items. It doesn't do it for you, but it saves so, so much time. Now let's go ahead, let's take a look at Mercari first and then we'll take a look at a few from Poshmark. All right, first up are these Nike dry fit men's shorts. I picked these up at the thrift store for a dollar down in Mount Dora. They have not even been listed for a week. You can see they were posted on March 6th and they sold really fast. So these are Nike dry fit men's dark gray. They are size 2XL, so a bigger size and sold super fast. You can see here, we show the tag as well as that waist measurement and from the top to the hem. And these were a great, great sale. Sold super fast, picked them up for only a dollar. Next is this Pittsburgh Sealers pen. This one has actually been listed close to a year. This one I picked up in a lot of Steeler stuff. I love to pick up NFL lots. I love football memorabilia, whether it's stuff like this, the pens. I love t-shirts, souvenir pennants, all of the things because I absolutely love football. So this one sold for 14. I was only a dollar in, but it did take a long time to sell. And it's going to still be about a $10 profit, but it took quite a bit. You can see I zoomed in on that Steelers. It was new in the box. And this one was a good profit, but it took a little bit longer. Next is another one. This one took a few months, not too long. It took three months. This is a Bimney Bay Blue Flats Fishing Hawaiian Fish Outfitter Button Down shirt men's this is a medium and those smaller sizes do take a little bit longer for me to sell but this is another dollar pickup from the thrift store so it is actually close to a 15 dollars profit you can see we do zoom in and this one does say flats fishing there on the shirt and here is the medium the bimini bay this one i didn't have measurements sometimes i do them uh now i do try and do them a little more often than I used to. And this one was a good sale, but it did take a few months. 
Moving on to Poshmark, yesterday I actually sent out some offers on items that had been listed a while for 30% off with a little bit of discounted shipping. If you do not know, you can bulk send offers on Poshmark from your closet. And that is what I did. I just looked through, saw what had been listed. I did try to stay with a little bit higher price because when you give that 30% off, you do cut out quite a bit of profit. This one I actually picked up in... Phoenix, Arizona, when I was out there for $5. So it is about a $40 profit. Poshmark does take a little more in fees. So this is Patricia Nash. And here you can see the photos that I took. It does have some wear and some scratching there. You can see I do show the inside. There is that Patricia Nash tag. I do zoom in. And of course, I show the measurements, close up of the tag. And this one was a good sale. I'm happy with the profit. It has been listed though about five or six months. I wanted to show you guys this. It didn't sell for a ton, but this little Yorkie sold for 11. It's about a $5 profit, but it's T tiny. It's an inch. It's an inch by two inches. And I like picking up lots of these T tinies. Some of them, will surprise you. I've sold some this small for over $100. So definitely look them all up. This one is another one I sent an offer on. This one was not listed for very long, but I figured I would make that offer. And here, look, you can see the dollar there. See the dollar that I paid? It is still on there. Um, sometimes we miss marking those out. I've never had a complaint on that, by the way. Uh, not yet. <laughs> Anyways, this time will be the one time, but this is a really cute sale and I love selling miniatures. Next. This was in a tackle box I bought. I did not pay much for the tackle box. I got it in a big lot. This is a vintage J Martini leather sheath Finland 10 inch fishing knife sold for 22. So it's about a $15 profit. I do have another one here. You can see it clearly says Martini Finland and it is a old fillet knife. It does have wear. It is not in the best of condition. And still, for me, I think $15 is a pretty good profit. Up next is the Southwest Guatemala Sterling Silver Turquoise Cuff. So we have been selling some kind of mid-range jewelry over on Poshmark here lately. So if you're a jewelry seller, definitely give a thought to putting it over on Poshmark. This one sold for 67. I paid about 25. So it's actually only about a $35 profit. I was just trying to get some sales this weekend. So this is one I sent that 30% off on. This one was not listed very long. I probably should have held out a little longer, but that's okay. Here you can see it has that made in Guatemala there on the back of the bracelet and really fast sale, $35 profit over on Poshmark. This one is the last one. And now we will take a look at eBay. All right. So here's our sales chart. I am actually recording this video early in the morning. Normally I record them a little later in the day. So we are at zero sales for today. Uh, we are at 3,206 for the week, 12,003 for the month. It is down by 15%. Hopefully they will come back up, but we have had some good days here. You can see 480, 552, 780, 834. So the sales are coming up, but that month total has not got up there yet. And we're going to take a look at 20 of the items that have sold over the last week. I had to show you guys this because... I almost threw this thing away. I really did. This is a, like, it looks like a real friggin' chicken. I put boho, realistic, rooster, real feathers. This is real chicken feather. Bird decoration, farmhouse folk art, sold for $19.49. I am less than a dollar in. It was in a lot. I, again, contemplated throwing it away. So it's about a $14 profit. Here you can see the photos that I took. This was a, a little creepy, I'm not going to lie, but this one actually sold in under two months. Up next is this vintage hand-turned exotic wood centerpiece fruit or display sold for $25.99. 
These are things I typically don't pick up by themselves, but they are ones that I get in lots. So I am under a dollar in. It's about a $20 profit. Did not take very long to sell. Here you can see the photos of this. And the buyer wrote they think it's copper. And honestly, I'm not sure. I didn't list this myself. So I'm going to verify they actually want a copper bowl not wood. So I have to make sure it's copper. So make sure you check your titles. Um, this was a little mess up on me if it is copper, but great sale and sold pretty fast. You probably have seen me selling license plates. This is a license plate topper. I sent out an offer of $112. It has been listed for months. I paid $40 for this. So it's about a $50 profit after fees. It is a mobile oil Pegasus topper. And here you can see we do show the wear. It does have a significant amount of wear. It is about six inches wide by five inches tall and sold in four months and pretty decent profit on this one. Next is this Koi by Kathy Peterson scrub top. Picked this up for a dollar at the thrift store. I have found quite a few thrift stores lately selling scrub tops for a dollar, and I'm really happy with that because a lot of them do sell at this $15 mark. So it's about a $10, $11 profit, but it's sold in under a week very, very fast. This is a bright pattern, which is one thing I look for. Koi by Kathy Peterson is one of the best names. This was my favorite brand of scrub top to wear when I was nursing. You can see we do show the measurements and this one was a really, really fast seller. Next is another thing I love picking up. Again, most of these do come in lots, but I will pick up some really ornate ones from the thrift store if I see them. This one sold in about two months. It is a vintage brass lace work, eight by six. This is not a big fit picture frame. Sold for $26, I believe, on an offer. So it's about a $20 profit for me. Here you can see we do show front back you do want to show any defects if they are there as well and this one was a pretty fast sale i'm happy with stuff moving out in two months next is this cobra golf towel if you do not know about golf towels definitely watch for them i picked up several for only 50 cents at a church sale that was shown over on my cat's treasure hunting channel so this is a large cobra. This is not a standard one. This is a wide one. Somebody told me a lot of people use these to cover the seats of golf carts. So 50 cents into 20, uh, about a $15 profit. You can see we do show it has some wear here. Again, you want to show those defects. There is a little bit of bleaching there and still sold really, really fast. This one sold in under a month at that $20 mark. The lace is still selling and we still have a lot of it if you like lace. This is a lingerie lot roll large spool white floral lace trim. I did put stretch and vintage. It sold for $29.24. I am less than a dollar in so it's about a $23 to $24 profit. We simply show the spool as well as the width. And people have asked, we are not measuring these just because of the time it would take and manpowers, i.e. payroll for me to measure these. I don't feel it's worth it. So I price them where I think they're worth. And we have been doing pretty well with them that way. If you watch me over on Cat's Treasure Hunting, you know I absolutely love picking up house coats and robes. This one sold in about three months. Picked it up for a dollar. I have a lot of dollar clothing thrift stores near me and it sold for 32. This is an L.L. Bean zip robe. I did put house coat, PJ, long pockets, blue Sherpa, medium, regular women's. That is it. That is it. <laughs> that is a title packed full of keywords. And here you can see the photos. We show front, back, close up of the tag. L.L. Bean is definitely a brand to watch out for as well as a tag. And we do show there are a couple of bleach spots here on the bottom and it's still sold pretty fast. And this one was a good profit.
Here is another thing I love picking up. Pick this one up for a dollar as well. Vintage blue baby bedtime. I did put bear frame cross stitch and I actually put baby in that title twice, which was a little redundant. I try not to use a word in a title twice and this one I did. This one sold for $19.48. So it's about a $14 profit sold in about four months here, you can see it up close. It was done in 1987. I believe I actually got this one at a church sale for the dollar and I got it from the lady who did it, which was pretty cool. I love those little stories and this one's super cute for a baby room. Another dollar robe. This was from my dollar estate sale over on Cat's Treasure Hunting Channel. This one is a vintage leisure life quilted robe. It is one size and it sold for $32.49 in under a week. Very, very fast seller from a dollar to 32, about a $25 profit. And here you can see this one is super cute little patchwork quilted print. There's that leisure life tag. We do show the armpit to armpit as well as the length and the lining as well. And this one sold very, very fast. Watch for vintage house coats and robes. This sale, they actually bought every single one I had, which was five of them. This one was almost a... $200 sale. So we are getting low on the boxes and I am glad because they take up a lot of space. They have sold so, so well. We do still have a lot left, but this is an Hermes empty sandal box and I am $5 in. It is over $150 profit on this sale. This was a return buyer. They have bought boxes from us before. You can see we show the measurements. Here's, here's a picture of the stack of our boxes. So we originally had a lot of them, but we only had five left. They bought all of them, and this one was a great, great sale. This little owl I paid up for because I really liked it. I paid $5 for it at the antique fair. And it is a handmade leather embossed little owl coin purse. Paid that five. I made about a $10 profit on this, but it sold very fast. It is so, so cute. Look at the back of this thing. I absolutely love this. I couldn't leave it there. So sometimes I will pay up for stuff that I really, really like. And But it's super small, four inches, easy to photograph and easy to ship. Next is this crochet zigzag throw vintage use a blue couch chair crib handmade blanket. I accepted a best offer of 25 on this. Be careful when you're buying these. This one is a smaller one. I paid five. So it's about a $15 profit. They take so long to make and they don't sell for a ton. But this one, I absolutely love the pattern on this. And this is another thing. I will, I will pick them up as long as I like the pattern. Some more of these big Pure One chargers. I have sold quite a few of these. And this buyer bought four. And it was close to... A $70 sale. We are pretty much nothing in. So this is a $50 profit. Watch for charger plates, especially if they are branded because they can big, make big, big money. And I do want to tell you, I am doing a research video here in a couple of days on plates that sell for big money. Plates are everywhere. So definitely keep an eye out for plates and watch for that video later this week. If you're not sure which ones sell for good money, watch that research video that's coming out here in a couple days. Up next, this is a Harley Davidson men's 2XL tank top. Might have underpriced this. It sold really fast. I got this from a viewer of mine for close to $4. So it's about a $13 profit after fees. Uh, really, really cool antler graphics there on the back. It is sleeveless. The Harley Davidson shirts, I pretty much just price where I think they should be. I probably should have had this one about $25 instead of that $20 mark, but happy with the sale. It sold in under a week. Up next is a Vera Bradley. I paid up for this. I actually paid $5. I paid 10, but there were two pieces in it. We did separate them. This one was new with tags. That is why I paid up for it. I do have the matching 
little cosmetic case if anybody is interested. This one sold for $19.49. So it's about a $10 profit after fees, but it sold in under a week really, really fast. Vera Bradley can still bring good money, especially the discontinued patterns. This one isn't like a big sale, but if you could find this for a couple of dollars, definitely would be a better pickup. I, again, I did pay up because it was new, but it sold very, very fast. Up next is this really, really cool lot. These were on the spool together. These are really, really pretty black and red laces. And these sold for a best offer of $55. And this buyer has bought a good majority of the lace that has sold and they keep buying more. So they are happy with what they've been getting. This one is about a $45 profit sold in about two months. Here you can see we do take a picture of the 79 yards, but we are not measuring it. We do measure the width of the lace. These are really, really fancy, really pretty. This is something I would pick up by itself. Watch for these when you're out thrifting and you're at estate sales. Up next, another thing I pick up and they are cheap. This is a set of eight Pier 1 Imports placemats. These I actually had in a lot from the boxes that I bought. I got a lot of household stuff that did include a lot of Pier 1, but I do pick up placemats at thrift stores quite a bit. Sold for $25.99, so they're about a $20 profit because I pretty much have no cost into these. These are woven, and here, if you're wondering how I knew, you can see the Pier 1 import sticker. So these were originally $4 a piece, so they would have been like 32 bucks originally not super expensive, but these sold very, very fast in about two months. Up next is a vintage lot of two Les Davis Cowbell Flex Eye Trolls. This is another thing from the Tackle Box. These sold in about two months. They sold for $25.99. I'm less than a dollar in. They are $20 profit. So what I did with the fishing gear is I looked up the names. These were both the same brand and I tried to lot them up to where I got over a $20 per lot price. And some of them individually were worth that. And some of them I had to put like 10 in a lot because they weren't worth much. But you can see these were originally $3 a piece. They are vintage and $20 profit on these. You can see we showed them out as well as the measuring tape and the back. And they sold pretty fast. Watch out because some fishing lures can be very, very valuable. Last up for this week is this gorgeous vintage pillow, another of my kind of weaknesses when I go thrifting. This one I picked up for $2. It sold for a best offer on $25. It is about a $18 profit. Sold in just a couple of months. I did put vintage Victorian lace embroidered throw pillow sham case off white square. Um, here you can see really, really pretty embroidered pillowcase and beautiful lace trim. You can see there is some discoloration that does not stop me from picking these up. And I do sell them with the inserts. I probably could take the inserts out and save myself and the buyer shipping, but I have done pretty well just selling them with the inserts and I do have buyer pay for shipping. So I am okay with that. No big, big sales this week. No super high dollar things, but that's okay. That's why I do the lower dollar as well, just so we're making some sales. There are so many business models. You could do a business model with only high dollar, where if you sell one or two things for $1,000, there's your sales for the week. I am trying to start looking for stuff like that so that when we get those, we have amazing weeks in addition to all of this bread and butter stuff. I hope you have enjoyed. I enjoy showing you the thrifting over on Cat's Treasure Hunting, picking this stuff up, and then showing you that it does sell. Some of it sells really, really fast and you kind of see the whole circle. So hit the thumbs up, share with your friends, make sure you're still subscribed. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. I will see you on the next one.